The Survival Series for Kids, What to Do When Your Mom or Dad Says Clean Your Room. Written by Joy Berry, pictures by Bartholomew. This book was copyrighted in 1981 for Joy Berry with the Grolier Enterprise Corporation. Has your mother or father ever told you to clean your room? Whenever you are told to clean your room, do you feel overwhelmed and frustrated? He has a very messy room. Whenever you are facing a room that you are supposed to clean, do you wonder, where do I start? If any of this sounds familiar to you, you're going to love this book because it will tell you exactly where to start and what to do to clean your room. And if you follow the instructions outlined in this book, you will be able to clean any bedroom no matter how dirty or messy it is. The first thing you will need to do is clear everything off your bed. Next, make your bed. If your sheets need to be changed, this is the time to do it. You'll probably be working with a fitted bottom sheet, and if you are, slip the top two corners of the sheet over the top corners of the mattress. Step two, slip the bottom corners of the sheet over the bottom corners of the mattress. Lift each mattress corner as you slip the sheet over it. Step three, put the top sheet on the bed. Make sure that the side with the wide hem is lined up evenly with the top of the mattress and there is an equal amount of sheet hanging down on both sides of the bed. Also, the right or the prettiest side of the sheet should be face down. Put the blanket or blankets on top of the sheet. Make sure you put the top edge of the blanket about eight inches from the top of the mattress. Also, be sure to leave an equal amount of blanket hanging down on both sides of the bed. Step five, now fold the top edge of the sheet over the top edge of the blanket. Then tuck the bottom edge of the sheet and blanket under the mattress. Step seven, finish off the corners by picking up the sheet and blanket together approximately 12 inches from the bottom corner and lay these up on the mattress. Tuck the bottom remaining portion of the sheet and blanket under the mattress. Then take the sheet and blanket you have placed on top of the mattress and tuck these under the mattress too. Next, tuck in the sides of the sheet and blanket. Step nine, to finish making your bed, put your bedspread on the bed while making sure that the sides and bottom of the edge of the spread barely touch the floor. Step 10, put your pillow at the top of the mattress in the middle of the bed along the folded bedspread. Then pull the spread up over the pillow. Voila. After your bed is made, pick up anything that is out of place and put it on your bed. To make sure you get everything, begin with the area to the left side of your bedroom door and work around the entire room. Now it is time to put the objects that are on your bed away. Pick up each object, each one at a time, decide what to do with it, and then do it. Once you've picked something up, put it away. Do not set it back down. If you pick up an article of dirty clothing, put it in a pile outside your bedroom door. If you pick up something that needs to be thrown out, put it in a large paper bag along with all of the other trash you find. If you pick up something that needs to be put away, don't stuff it in any old place just to get rid of it and out of sight. Bad move. Put everything away carefully, exactly where it belongs. If you pick up a clean article of clothing, put it away carefully. Blouses, shirts, jackets, and dresses should hang on a hanger the same way they hang on your shoulders with the top button buttoned or the zipper closed. Skirts should hang on skirt hangers or they can be pinned on wire hangers with safety pins. Pants should be smoothed out with a crease running down the middle of each leg, then hung by the cuffs on a pants hanger or draped over the bottom of a hanger with an equal amount of the pant hanging on each side. A closet looks neater when all the shirts and skirts and blouses hang together, the pants as well. 
the jackets hang together. If an article of clothing needs to be folded before it is put away, do it properly. To fold underwear and shorts, smooth them out and fold them over in half. Belts should be rolled up or hung up. To fold a t-shirt, knit top or sweater, spread it out front down. Number two, fold the back of each side and fold the arms down. Number three, fold up, fold the bottom up. Number four, this is how it will look when you're through. After everything is put away, dust the furniture in your room. You will need a dust rag and furniture polish. Begin with the area to the left side of your bedroom door and work your way around. When you dust anything, first dust the top of the object, then the sides, and then the bottoms. When you have finished dusting the furniture, vacuum, sweep, and dust mop your bedroom. Again, you should begin with the area to the left of your bedroom door and work your way around the room. Whenever you vacuum or sweep or dust mop, make sure you get under and behind your bed and your furniture. By now, things should be looking pretty good, but you're not quite finished. To completely finish the job, you'll need to put the dust rag and vacuum cleaner broom and mop away, pick up the dirty clothes and bring them to the laundry area, put the trash bag along with its contents in the trash can. If you had a rough time deciding what to do with the things on your bed, you may need to get your room organized so that everything has a place. If you decide to organize your things, be sure to begin with the clean room, work on one small area at a time. To help you organize your room, you will need three boxes, one that's marked toss, one marked recycle, and one marked hold. Gather together some items to store things in, various boxes, um, various for shoes possibly, or cans, a large cardboard boxes or plastic storage bags. Decide where you're going to put things. If you look like most kids, you will need to choose a special shelf, drawer, or area for each of these groups of things. For your books, your art supplies, your stationery, your hobbies, your games and toys, your equipment, your musical instruments, your clothes. Each item that you have has a certain spot that it needs to be in. Put all of the contents of one shelf or drawer or closet on your bed. Put the objects that are on your bed away. Pick up each object one at a time. Do I love it? If you don't love it, it's time to get rid of it. Decide what to do with the objects. Once you have picked them up, put it away. Do not set it back down. If you pick up an article and decide that it is of no use to you, put it in the toss bin. If you pick up an article that is in good working condition, but you don't want it anymore, put it in the recycling bin. If you pick up an article that you're not sure about, then you could put that into the hold box. If you pick up an article that you are currently using and you want to keep it, put that in a special spot. Here are a few tips to remember as you put things away. Anything that is smaller than a ping pong ball, put it into small bags. Anything that is about the size of a baseball, those can go into your cigar boxes or your shoe boxes. If there's no room in your drawers or closets to store your groups, store all your things in one group together in a box, possibly in ba individual bags. Label your drawers so that other people can find your things. Get rid of worn out or outgrown things. Give them away. Group your clothes according to a plan. You may want to put all your shirts or blouses together all your pants together, and so on. Put your freshly washed clothes on the bottom of the stack and then use the clothes on the top of the stack. That way, you won't end up wearing the same old thing over and over again. After all of your shelves are organized, put the large box marked Toss and its contents in the trash. Store the box marked Hold Write the date on the whole box, then close it up and put it in a safe place. If after a year you've not missed the things in the box, chances are you don't need them anymore. And at this point, you should put them in the recycling box the next time you organize your room. Get rid of the things in the recycling box. You can 
trade them for something, you can sell them, or you can give them to an organization that recycles used things. Anything still in the box after one week should be gotten rid of immediately. Once your room is organized, it'll be easier to keep it that way. If you put a wastebasket in your room for your trash, put a dirty clothes hamper in your room for dirty clothes, straighten up your room every day, make your bed, clean your room at least once a week, completely organize your things at least twice a year. The end of a messy room that causes unhappy parents and frustrated kids. The opposite of disorganized room is an organized room.